one control mechanism to have in place for the data management is data privacy, which is defined as the act of governing how data is collected, shared, used, and accessed. A data privacy control does not only provide cyber data with privacy, it also preserves the integrity of the data and as well as protects data from unauthorized individuals. A perfect form of a data privacy control is the GAP principle, which stands for Generally Accepted Privacy Principles. The GAP principle is a privacy policy framework developed by four renowned cyber chartered and certified institutions in the world, which are the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, the Institute of Internal Auditors, Canadian Institute of Chartered Accountants, and the Information System Audit and Control Association, ISACA. The following are the 10 main GAP principles. The first principle is management. The management principle states that an organization handling private information should have policies, procedures and governance structure in place to protect the privacy of that information. The management principle requires all organizations handling private information to have policies, procedures and governance structure in place to protect the privacy of such information. Organizations like hospitals, social media platforms, and personal service providing companies are expected to have procedures, policies and governance structure in place to protect the privacy of its clients' information. The second principle is the notice principle, which states that Anyone who happens to be a subject of a record being maintained by an organization should receive a notice of that fact and as well as to have access to the privacy policies and procedures followed by that organization. One practical and implementation of the notice principle is the terms and conditions provided to you when signing up for any of the social media platforms. The third principle is the choice of content principle. The choice of content principle states that an organization should inform its data subjects of all their options regarding the data that they own and must obtain consent from those individuals for their collection, storage, use and sharing of their personal information. The choice of content principle must always be featured in the user terms and conditions contract form. On this note, let me state that all cybersecurity professionals are required to know how to write a user terms and conditions contract form which will be covered extensively in Model 2. The fourth gap principle is the collection principle, which states that organizations should only collect personal information for the intended purposes disclosed in their privacy notice. In other words, organizations and companies ought to only gather digital information they have clearly stated in their terms and conditions notice form. The use, retention and the disposal of digital information is a fifth gap principle. This principle detects that all gathered digital information should truly really be used for its intended gathered purposes and not for any other undisclosed purposes. In addition to this stated principle, this same fifth principle also requires organizations to securely dispose of gathered digital information or data as soon as there is no more use for its intended purposes for gathering. So, based on the fifth gap principle, you can sue an organization who, upon gathering your digital information based on a disclosed purpose to you, decides to use your gathered digital information for undisclosed purposes or either decides to keep your digital gathered information rather than disposing of your gathered digital information securely. Access is the sixth gap principle. And it states that organizations should provide data subjects with the ability to review, edit, or update their personal information. So, it's based on the access gap principle that you are allowed to edit or update your personal information with any organizations and even across all social media platforms. The seventh gap principle is the disclosure to third party principle. This principle states that organizations should only share gathered digital information with third parties only if the sharing of the gathered digital information is consistent with the purpose disclosed in the privacy notice in addition with the consent of the individual or subject whose gathered digital information is being shared with the third party. So based on the disclosure to third party principle, you have the right to sue any organization especially internet service providers and social media platforms 
who shares your gathered digital information with third parties without stating it in their privacy notice and without your consent. The security principle is the eighth gap principle and it states that all organizations must secure all guarded digital private information against any unauthorized access. So based on this principle, if your guarded digital private information get leaked or sold online, you have the absolute right to sue the organization whom you entrusted your digital information with, since it is their core mandate to secure your digital private information. On this note, I highly recommend you to only allow and trust organizations who have the ability and does not have any bad record of allowing their clients' information to be leaked online. Data quality principle is the ninth gap principle. This principle states that all organizations should take reasonable steps to ensure that all gathered digital information they maintain is accurate, complete, and relevant to their purpose of gathering. So for this reason, organizations gathering personal information cannot be held accountable for any inaccurate digital gathered personal information. That is, if the information provider decides to rather provide inaccurate information about him or herself. It is often based on this principle that some organizations and other government agencies often sue people who decide to provide them with inaccurate personal information. Last of the gap principle is the monitoring and enforcement principle. This gap principle states that all organizations should have a program in place to monitor compliance in terms of privacy policy and as well as to provide dispute resolution mechanism. In a simple term, what this monitoring and enforcement principle means is that all organizations gathering digital information ought to monitor and enforce the gap principles and as well as any other data privacy compliance or policies. With the knowledge of these gap principles, you as a data owner you as a cyber security professional and a data custodian will know your rights in terms of your digital information being guarded and as well as the core mandate of organizations gathering your digital information.